Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. How are you guys today? So <laughs> here we go again. This week, I can't make up this stuff. Sometimes I just wonder what's going to happen that day. So yesterday got really busy. I've been giving tours. I've been going back and forth between centers, filling spots for fall because schools here are about to open. And we had we had um, one school push back the school start date to the 24th. So I've got kids staying with me longer at the daycare centers. But I've been doing tons of tours. So last night I had a tour at my daycare center and I was in the middle when the tour showed up, dumping my trash can from my office into the two-year-old classroom and it was upside down in their trash can. And I had dumped it on there, but I couldn't get it undone. And then the doorbell rang at the daycare center. So I went and it was my tour for the daycare center. Hi, Terry, how are you today? So I went to get my tour. So I go on my tour and everything and I don't think anything of it. And one of my girls came in to clean. So anyways, I'm all done after my tour and I go back and I go to the two's room and the trash is gone and I'm like, Oh no, the trash is gone. So now I go outside. Now we have a locked door to get into my building. So I saw the locked door thing was still out, which meant an employee had gone out to the trash can. So I go out to the trash can, can't find my employee. And I then I'm like, oh, here we go again. There's the dumpster and that squirrel. Is that squirrel gonna be in the trash can if I have to look in the trash can for my own trash can in the dumpster? So I go look in the dumpster. Thank God the very scary Gary was not there. And my employee took my trash can that had trash in it, instead of dumping it in the trash, took it out, threw it in another trash bag, and threw it away. And I was like, you just threw your boss's trash away. Your trash can's in the dumpster. So I had to open it up, and I'm like, here we go again. That squirrel's going to be back. And I had to get my trash can out of the dumpster. I still can't find my employee. I go back into the building. I lock the door. And a couple minutes later, I hear the doorbell ring, and my employee's like, can you let me in? And I'm like did you throw my trash can away in the dumpster? And she's like, what? And I'm like, I found my trash can from my office in the dumpster. And she starts laughing and she's like, I'm so sorry. But have you ever had those days when people interrupt you and you're in the middle of something and you don't get it done? And this is what happens. My trash can's out in the dumpster. Now I have to worry about a squirrel that who would have thought I'd be worried about the very scary Gary. And my employee is just like beside herself. And I'm like, Next time, ask, please. If you have a trash can inside of a trash can in a classroom, please ask. So yes, I went dumpster diving yesterday and that was not what I planned on doing. But what I did realize, I handled it pretty well because I didn't get mad. I realized things happen, people are in a hurry and it's part of life. So anyways, that was my crazy story. And um, I hope you guys have a great week. It's been really interesting watching all the states open up and all the um, rules they're implementing and stuff. So right now in our area, we don't have COVID that much. So we've been very lucky. I've thankfully been able to pull off my waiting list. I have actually more spots open than I've ever had for when school starts because our school kids stayed with me. Once March hit and they didn't go back to spring break, all those kids stayed where I would normally not have to fill their spots. So right now, yesterday, I filled specific, I think I filled six spots at one building. We had 11 open in one day, and I still have the wait list. So I'm not super concerned because parents are still looking for um, spots, but I'm gonna send positive vibes to everyone because our life's still not gonna be the same, and I know a lot are homeschooling and stuff. I'm buying curriculum right now, so if you guys wanna pop in the comments what curriculum you use, that would be awesome. I always like new ideas. We did order for the toddler classroom, Frog Street Press, because they have conscious discipline in it. And in my infant room, I'm about to order Frog Street Press, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the preschool classroom. I looked at it and it's not meeting some of the requirements that I would like in my curriculum. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know. But you guys have a great Friday and I'll talk to you later. Bye.